since it was late i just forgot this okay i started recording now fine so what are acceptors acceptors are the finite automata which gives yes or no that is uh, whether it is accepted whether the input is accepted or rejected the classifiers also gives the output as accept or reject but it has more than one final state that is known as classifier okay the question may be asked what are acceptors classifiers and transducers so you should know this what are transducers transducers we haven't learned now we'll be learning in our next uh, lectures okay in coming lectures what is transducers transducers are the automata which gives output okay as you have, we have seen in our examples that we have solved till now there is no output as such right it is just accept or reject whether the string is accepted or rejected but next two uh, machines will be seeing is more machine and milli machine which gives the output okay when you go when we go to that examples and solve more machine and milli machine this will be more clear to you okay transducers are the automata that produces output okay so these are your acceptors classifiers and transducers the question may be asked as explain finite automata as acceptors classifiers and transducers so you have to give the definition and one example each okay that may be asked for 10 marks okay so now as we have seen here finite automata is broadly divided into without output and with output in without output we saw dfa and nfa deterministic finite automata and non deterministic finite automata right what is this dfa and what is nfa what is this deterministic and non deterministic okay so deterministic finite automata what is that deterministic finite automata deterministic finite automata okay in deterministic finite automata for each input symbol one can determine the state to which the machine will move okay i'll go to non deterministic then this definition will be more clear non deterministic finite automata in it is uh, abbreviated as ndfa or nfa both are same non deterministic finite automata okay for a particular input symbol the machine can move to any combination of the states in the machine okay i'll take the example that we had solved in our previous i'll just take this any of this just okay okay this is example if i say any any take any q1 okay q1 q1 state q1 on input 0 is going to q2 right if i ask you if i ask you uh, q0 on 0 what will be uh, what will be your answer what will be your answer q0 on 0 if i ask you q0 on 0 what will be your answer it's q0 right if i say q3 on 1 what will be your answer q3 on 1 q3 on 1 it is q3 right i hope you are understanding so we know exactly that q1 on 0 is going to only q2 q2 on 1 is going to q3 if we see the state table if we see the state table every state on each input goes to only one state every state every state on given input goes to only one state that is transition is deterministic if i give any state at any input we know the next state we know exactly it is going to this state but what happens in uh, non deterministic is we'll see this example see this example okay see this a b and c uh, yeah, i have i have missed this c here a b c if i say what is the transition what is the transition of a on 0 what is the transition of a on 0 
What is the transition of A on zero? Students, what is the transition of A on zero? It is A and B, right? There are more than one state it is moving to. For some example, for some example, you need this path that is A to A. For some example, you may need to go from A to B. So the machine feels very difficult, right? It cannot determine whether from A on zero, if it is in state A and it is reading zero, it is difficult for the machine to determine where to go where, to the next state, whether A or B. So it is known as non-deterministic finite automata. Hope uh, you are getting me. Samaj mein aaya difference, deterministic and non-deterministic students. Okay, so for machine, it is difficult to determine which state to choose next when it has more than one state on the same input. Okay, if you see the state table, if you see this state table, uh, you can see this A on zero is going to two states. If, I, if I'm in state A and I'm reading a zero, then whether to go A for A, or whether to move to the B state. It is very difficult to determine. B on one, if I'm in state B and I, uh, the input what we are reading is one, whether to go to A or whether to go to C, it is difficult. So it is known as non-deterministic finite automata. Okay, I'm going back to the definition again. Now it will be more clear to you. What is deterministic finite automata? It is for each input symbol, one can determine the state to which the machine will move. It is determined, right? Hence, it is called deterministic automaton or deterministic finite automata. Okay. So, we know the tuples, right? We know the tuples. Q, finite set of state, summation, uh, the five tuples, same formal definition. Okay. Q and summation is finite set of uh, input. Then delta is transition function Q with that is state, current state mapped with input gives you next state. And in this Q0 is initial state, right? And F is final state. Now coming to the formal definition of NFA, just check this, check this. You have same five tuples. Q summation is same. Coming to your transition function. If you see, it is uh, the state, current state mapped with input can give you any, num any state, right? More than one state. In this, if you see, you, we have single state. Next state is single. But here, you can have any number of state. It is two raised to Q, okay? So it gives you any number of states that it can go to all the states also. If I have three states in my uh, machine, Q0, Q1, Q2, Q0 can go to Q0, Q0 can go to Q1, Q1 can go to Q2. So it can go to any state. Okay. So this is the difference between DFA and NFA, deterministic finite automata and non-deterministic finite automata. So we have already seen this example. Now we'll see a few difference between DFA and NFA. Okay, so it is single, right? The state is single. Here we can have multiple next states. That is the first difference. Okay, then empty string transitions are not seen in DFA. We'll see what is this empty string in our coming lecture, not now, okay? Empty string transition are not seen in DFA, but NFA can have epsilon transition, empty string transitions. Okay. Backtracking is not allowed in DFA. In NFA, backtracking is possible. Then, DFA requires more space because it has more number of states than NFA. Okay. Compared to NFA, we can represent the same uh, machine in NFA using lesser states rather than DFA. Okay, then a next one, a string is accepted by a DFA if it transits to final state. 
a string is accepted if at least one of all the possible transitions ends in final string. That is, so because of this empty string, it can have multiple uh, transitions. So we have to check which transition is reaching the final state. Okay, and we have already seen the transition function. This is Q here and this is 2Q here. Okay, so this is the difference between DFA and NFA. This is usually asked for five marks in your final exam. Okay, so we'll move on to the next one. To get this DFA, that is deterministic finite automata, uh, given a language, we have already seen that how to get, how to design DFA. Given a language, how to design DFA, we have already seen, right? But there are some examples where we cannot directly convert the given language to DFA. We require to follow few steps. These are the steps, language to regular expression, regular expression to NFA with epsilon, NFA with epsilon to NFA without epsilon, NFA without epsilon to DFA, DFA to minimize DFA. All the steps you have to follow. We'll see all the steps one by one. Okay, so we'll start first today with language to regular expression. Okay, this will be our first task. Language to regular expression. That is RE. This is also known as RE. Language to RE. Okay, um, we have seen how to design a given language. What is language? That is, which describes the language. Accept the string uh, with the, which ends with one zero one. That is the language of uh, which, for which we should design the machine. Okay, but it is difficult for some languages to directly design DFA. So what we'll do, we usually go, we write RE for the language, then we design NFA with epsilon for the written RE, then NFA without epsilon and then DFA and then we minimize the DFA, okay? So these are the steps that we follow. We'll see one by one. In today's lecture, we'll see language to RE. So what is this RE? RE can be thought of as algebraic description of a regular language. It is can be thought of as an algebraic description of a language. A regular expression can be a sequence of pattern that defines a string. Okay, so what are the rules that has to be followed? Every letter of alphabet summation is a regular expression. If I write uh, A, it is a regular expression. If I write a B, it is a regular expression. Null string, which is represented with epsilon and empty string, which is represented as phi, are also regular expressions. Okay, if R1 and R2 are two regular expressions for two different language, then R1, R2, that is concatenation of R1 and R2 is also regular. R1 plus R2, that is union of R1, R2 is also regular and uh, clean closure, that is star. We'll see what is the star. You'll understand a bit later. R1 star and R2 star are also regular, okay? Now we'll move on how to write regular expression. I'll just open my mirror. Thank you. 
just give me say, uh, two seconds to miss. I'll just log in and I'll get back. Okay, uh, so we'll start again. Fine. Mm, so here, if you see, I have a language which consists of only A. Okay, I have a language which consists of only A. So what is the string in that language? The string in that language is A. That's all. How to write? How to write if I have? If I, my language is A. Okay. So, how to write? Uh, uh, RE for this. RE for this. RE will be. RE will be just A. Okay. RE for this will be just A. My language is A. So if my language is B, if my language is B, the language consists of single string B. So what will be my RE? RE will be just B. Okay. So next. I have only two strings in my language. The strings are A, B. Okay. See this. The language has only two strings, A comma B. Okay, this is how the language is represented. Okay, what will be my RE for that? My RE will be A or B. It is read as A or B, not plus. It is A or B. Okay, the representation for A or B is also A slash B. You can write A or B as plus or A or B as slash. Okay, this is the next example. Now, the only string in my language is AB. The only string, it is not A and B. The only string in my language is AB. So how will I represent it? I'll represent it as AB. Okay, then. Now coming to the next example. What the language consists of? What is the string that my next language consists of? All combinations of A's over summation is equal to A. What do you mean by this? What do you mean by this? All combinations of A's over the set summation is equal to A. Iska matlab hai, the language consists of only A's, any number of A's. The string of the language has any number of A's. That is, 
zero or more number of keys. Epsilon represent zero a. Okay, you have to remember this representation. Is zero a. Next is one a. Next is two a. Three a. Four a. Five a. And so on. Infinite. Okay. Summation. Uh, sorry. Uh, epsilon. This is known as epsilon. Epsilon means zero number of a's. Next is one, two, three, and so on. That is known as all combinations. Or we can also uh, tell as any combination of a or zero or more number of a's. Okay, that is this language. What is this language? How to represent this language? Epsilon a a a a a a and so on. How to represent this? This is represented as a star. This is represented as a star. Okay, so you have to remember this a star. Okay, a star means epsilon zero number of a, one number of a, two number of a, three number of a, and so on. Zero or more number of a. Okay. Next. Uh, okay. Next. Next is all combinations of A's. Accept the null string over the set summation A. What it is? All the combinations of A's accept the null string. Matlab, there is no epsilon here. Okay. Or I can uh, call this as one or more number of A's. Right. One or more number of A's. This is one or more number of A's. How to write one or more? What do you mean by this? What did we uh, discuss this? What is this? This is zero number of, zero or more number of A's. Zero or more number of A's. So what is one or more without epsilon is written as A plus. It is actually not this way. It is, you have to write it above. Okay, it is power, power, A plus okay i hope you are getting this okay so all combinations of a's accept the null string there is no epsilon here okay that is one or more number of a's is written as a plus a plus okay then next String containing any number of A's and B's. What is string containing any number of A's and B's? That is uh, zero or more number of A's and B's. That is any combination of A's and B's, right? What do you mean by this? Any combination of A's and B's. What do you mean by any combination of A's and B's? See, I have, I can make any combination of A's and B's, right? So, what do we do? So any combination of A's and B's. I have A and B. Iska koi bhi combination ho sakta hai. So epsilon ho sakta hai, right? I'm writing it as E because I cannot take the symbol here. E A, epsilon. That is zero number of A's and zero number of B's. One length string. What may be the one length string? It can be either A or it can be either B, right? Now, coming to two length string. What are two length strings, students? What may be two length uh, strings which can be obtained using A and B? Using A and B. Using A and B, what may be the 
two length st uh, strings. So it can be uh, Momin, Rayan Momin. Uh, you are giving me four length, right? String length is four, A, A, B, B ka matlab. Yeah, it is A, A. It can be A, A. It can be B, B. It can be A, B. It can be B, A, right? Very good. Right. Similarly, I can have three length string, right? I can have four length and so on. So how to represent this language, this language using R? Any combination, any combination of A and B. How to represent this? This is represented as A or B whole star. It is A or B whole star. Students, are you understanding, Ari? Are you understanding this? Okay. So, this is what is given here. I've just marked it. Okay, I'll do more later. Fine. Is this clear? Next. Coming to this. All combination of AB. All combination of AB. Now give me the um, language students for all combination of AB. First, you have to understand the language, okay? The next language is all combination of AB. All combination of AB. So, what are the strings for all combination of AB? All combination matlab zero or more. So, we'll have even epsilon, right? We can have epsilon also. Then, next, what is the first minimum string that we can have in this language? It is AB, right? Because it is all combination of AB. Mm, Ayan, we cannot have A, B, A, A, B, B. No. Please understand, students. It is all combination of A, B. A, B is a single string they have given and it is all combination of A, B. So, you cannot have that. Right? So, you cannot have only A, only B and all. It is repetitions of A, B zero or more repetitions of a b so sing, uh, zero repetition is epsilon single rep uh, repetition is a b double repetition would be double repetition would be right a b a b now you have understood yes so three times matlab a b will be repeated three times and so on any number of times this is the language I hope you have understood this, right? Okay, so how to write this now? What may be the Ari? Can anyone try this? No issues even if you write wrong. What is the Ari? What may be the Ari? A, B star, A, B star, A, B star. Okay, students, fine. Akanksha says, in the bracket, Sanket says in the bracket, yes. So I got two answers. We'll discuss both the answers, okay? And then we'll check which is right. One of you, a few of you said AB star, okay? And few of you said AB star, okay? Uh, maybe uh, both the answers right or maybe both the answers wrong. We'll just check what do you mean by AB star? And what do you mean by AB whole star? Okay. So if you say AB star, this star, this star is only for this B. Okay. So what may be the language for this now? It is A followed by zero or more number of B. Okay, Utkarsh, no problem. I'm just uh, talking on this. What is the language? If it is wrong, why it is wrong? 
okay so what is the language which gives you ab star what is the language you cannot have epsilon here if you put zero it will be zero number of b's so i have a here so my language will be a here okay what will be my next language since this star is given to only b this star is given to only b so zero or more number of b's the language is a is followed by zero or more number of b's this star is only for this b so it will be a a b a b b a b b b and so on i hope you are getting this students if you get this then you will know why this is correct okay so now if you see a b whole star matlab ye star jo hai this is for whole a b that is repetition of a b zero or more number of times theek hai is this clear okay fine we'll move on to the next example next example is all combinations of one or more a comma b okay in the previous example what we have seen we have seen string containing any number of a's and b's matlab zero or more combination of a and b right in this example what say they say it is one or more matlab there is no epsilon here right it is any combination of a and b but you don't have zero that is you don't have epsilon here so how to write that we have seen how to write um one or more a right it's here one or more a now they say one or more a or b we know how to write a or b we know how to write one or more a so what will be our answer then for this what will be our answer for one or more yes yes you are right so it will be l write it it is a or b whole plus it is a or b whole plus okay so if you write a or b star a or b star it is any combination of it is any combination of ab it is any combination of ab okay that is zero or more number of ab this is also any combination of ab but it is one or more number of ab i hope you got the difference between a or b whole plus a or b whole star this is also any combination of a and b zero or more this is also any combination of a and b but it is one or more okay did you get the difference between this two you people got the difference between this two okay fine we'll move on to the next example then okay uh the next example is write the regular expression i'll just copy paste this so what is the question the question is write the regular expression for the language accepting all the string which are starting with one and ending with zero okay first thing whenever you write a re you have to clearly understand the question write the regular expression for the language accepting all the string which are starting with one and ending with zero if you see this this is starting with one and ending with zero starting with one ending with zero 
starting with one, ending with zero, right? What do you mean by that starting with zero? Okay, you have any combination of zeros and ones and it should end with zero, right? You have to imagine this, okay? So starting with one and ending with zero, right? So starting with one, ending with zero, in between you can have any combination of zeros and ones, right? Any combination of zero and one, we know how to write it, right? We know how to write any combination of zeros and ones. So, one se start hua, zero se end hua, right? And beach me any combination of zeros and ones. Sorry. Any combination of zeros and ones. Starts with one, ends with zero. In between, you have any combination of zeros and ones. I hope this is clear. I hope this is clear, students. Is this example clear? Any doubt in this example? Any doubt in this example? Okay. Fine. Fine. So next example we'll take. Last example for this lecture. Okay, what is it? Just, just one minute, last example. I told you last example. So write the regular expression for the language starting and ending with A and having any, com having any combination of Bs in between. Write the regular expression for the language starting and ending with A and having any combination of Bs in between. Very simple. What it is? What it is? Yes. A, B, uh, just, just read it again. Starting with A and ending with B. Starting with A and ending with A, right? It is starting with A and ending with A. And then we have, yes. Now you are right, yes. Yes, Chandini is right. So any combination of B. Yes. Fine. So what will be my answer? It is A, B star A. Yes, Nikunj, right. Yes, yes. It is A, B star A, right? Or I can or, or single A. Why I'm writing this? Because this is starting with A and ending with A also, right? And this combination we cannot obtain from here. So I'm writing it separately. Okay, even A is a string which is starting with A and ending with A. Yes, so, and we cannot obtain from this. We cannot obtain this from this uh, expression. So we will write it separately or A. Okay, so that's all for today.